Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 as we are playing as William the Conqueror, King of England. And it'll likely be the last time I say that we're playing as William, considering the fact that I do expect he'll likely die, uh, maybe in this episode. Uh, that's what I expect. Uh, you know, he's six years old. He is in good health though, so I guess we'll see. So we have several things we need to do here in the beginning, but before we do that, uh, before we really get started with the, the episode today, there's a couple things I wanted to address that were brought up in a previous video, uh, episode 6, uh, so the one before the last video. And this has been brought up by a lot of people, and even today, I still have some people commenting about it. Uh, so, and, you know, a couple days after the video went up. So I figured I would address uh, these, two, these two matters that keep getting brought up. So the first one is when we were fighting France, remember that was in episode 6, uh, not when we were fighting the HR, HRE in episode 7. Our opening action of that war against France was to come over here and seize the capital, to attack Paris and uh, get control of that. And when we did that, we took some attrition uh, from the Little Red Skulls. And a lot of people bring that up as if I didn't know that we were going to take attrition, uh, like as if I didn't know those, those men were going to die by doing that. Uh, because you are kind of encouraged in CK3 to not use that tactic that everybody used to use in CK2 as well, to go straight to the capital. Uh, that's you know it's worth a lot of uh, war score, and then on top of that, when you go to the capital, if you take it, you might you know gain control of the king, which would instantly end the war if you capture him. Uh, you know you get 100% war score if you capture his heir, then you know you get 50% war score, and other children are 25%. So it's very important to take the capital, and, and that's why we raced over there. Now I know that we were going to take attrition. It's not that I didn't see that that was going to happen. I felt like whatever we lost, which it, some, I think somebody said we lost 500 people. Whatever we lost was worth it, easily worth it. Now, we didn't catch the king, we didn't catch his direct heir, his uh, primary heir, but we did get his daughter, and that increased the war score by 25%. So that's easily worth it. If you think about a battle, you lose, you know, 1,500 men, 2,000 men, and you increase the war score by, what, 15% in a big battle? So, I mean, yeah, it's definitely worth taking the attrition to grab the capital, especially considering the fact that you can immediately end the war if you capture the king. So I was well aware that we were going to take that attrition. I just didn't care. Uh, some people thought I didn't know that we were going to take it. And then the second thing I want to address is also kind of pertaining to that same matter. I had uh, captured the, the daughter, and then we had the, the plus 25% war score for having control of an heir. And then I, I went into, uh, you know, went into France. And remember, this is episode six, not seven, where obviously we, we know that this is the heir in seven because we're trying to kill him. We have a, a plot to kill him right now. But I got confused since it said that we had captured the heir and it was the daughter. And so I had said something about, you know, why hadn't the, the son uh, succeeded? Uh, because we'd seen that with other characters. I don't remember who the other character was. There was somebody, I'm not entirely sure who it was. I think I want to say it was somebody in Normandy, but maybe not. Uh, where uh, a count, his daughter, was succeeding before his legitimate heir. So I brought that up, and then I, I used France as an example of that as well, but that wasn't the case with France. Uh, of course, the son was the heir, and I had just read it wrong that we had gotten the 25% for having an heir and not the heir, where we would have got 50% if we had control of the heir. So I had like a lot of people bringing that up, uh, and, and that's why. It was just I had read it wrong, uh, and so I was thinking that she was the heir, uh, but that wasn't the case. Uh, so just want to address those two just because I got brought up like a lot, like quite a few comments on both of those. So I just wanted to uh, to make that clear. Uh, so one of them was uh, a, tactical, a tactical decision to go after the capital and take the attrition, while the other one was just me mis misreading it, uh, you know, or misunderstanding, however you want to word that. Uh, so let's go to get started in today's episode. Uh, another thing that's been brought up a lot is the fact that we've been over the domain holdings for a while, which you know, I, I thought it was clear that I was well aware of that, that we were keeping the, the titles until we could get our grandson married off here. Because once uh, we, we gave these titles to our son, we wouldn't be able to arrange a marriage for him unless it was with somebody in our own court. So I wanted to make sure that we could make this marriage. Uh, now that we've done that, we can now give titles to William Rufus. And that's why I was holding on to these, because I knew once we get the titles away, that it would be reduced. Now, some people want me to keep uh, the Duchy of Normandy in, as our primary title. It's going to be really, really difficult to do, guys. Uh, basically impossible to do, uh, unless we were to like disinherit, use the disinherit option, uh, or... You know, give the title, another gaming option would be give the title to some, like, old character who's, like, you know, 60-something years old with no family. And then when he dies, then the title would come back to us. So we could use a tactic like that. Uh, or we could destroy the title. 
because that's the only way. Uh, when you have this succession type, you don't get any of the duchy titles that you have, with the exception of the duchy title in your, your capital realm. Uh, so uh, the duchy of Essex goes to our heir, and all other duchies that we have will go to our other sons, even if we only have one son. So that's why he's set to get two duchies, the duchy of Kent and the duchy of Normandy. So there's no way to keep this title. Uh, you know, and you know, without you know, again, and disinheriting him or something like that, or doing some kind of gaming tactic, there's really no way for us to keep the Duchy of Normandy. And and I don't want to destroy the Duchy of Normandy because, I mean, let's be honest, this is uh, it's the Duchy of Normandy, and we're the Normans. Uh, we're the, you know, that's our dynasty. We're the Normandy dynasty. So I don't want to get rid of it. Uh, I don't want to destroy it. And so we're gonna give it to him so that we keep it in the family. Uh, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with the other. Uh, title here. Uh, so let's go ahead and grant him uh, the the Duchy of uh, Normandy with the one county that's there because these two counties are actually not in that duchy. Uh, so this is going to result in two things. One, we're giving up one of our counties, so we'll be almost to our, our limit. And the other thing is that all these counties will be going underneath William and therefore we'll lose our really good marshal. You know, the 23 marshal uh, character that we have here. I think he's I think his name is William. Uh, he's going to be going under him, so we'll have to we'll select a new marshal. Uh, so let's go ahead and grant those titles to him. Right, excellent. And we'll, we'll take a look at, yeah, he's Count William. Uh, so he's Count William the Fury, and he has that 23 marshal, so we won't have him anymore. We'll have to replace him. Uh, so that's been done. Uh, let's go ahead and do the other thing I want to do, and that is to go ahead and destroy the petty kingdom of Kent. This is the duchy title here. And this will keep uh, William from getting it and keep more in our hands. I don't really understand how that makes sense. Uh, where if you have two sons with the this type of succession, that all duchy titles except one go to that other son. Let's go ahead and give up this title. We'll destroy it, uh, the Petty Kingdom of Kent. It's going to cost us 400 prestige. That's okay. Uh, but again, this will result in us not having to worry about losing all this land, which is you know rather productive land for us, giving us gold and and uh, you know some some levies here so yeah I don't want to have to give it up uh, so with that if we were to take a look at our succession now you can see that no titles are leaving our realm when we die we're gonna get all of them uh, since we've now given up the one duchy title that he would inherit so we're good to go and uh, we just need to decrease our number of holdings by one and we could go with the the one that's least the least profitable one which would probably be this one Lester uh, would probably be the, the least profitable because there's less levies here. So we could go ahead and grant that one out. And I think that's what we're going to do. We could just give it to our son as well since he is the, the duke here. Uh, so we could always just go ahead and, and give him that title. I don't know how many counties he currently holds. He holds two counties right now. So yeah, we'll go ahead and give him give him that title. Why not? Well, so let's going to grant him. We can find this here. There we go. This one right here. So we're going to grant that to him, I'll increase our opinion even further with him, and it's going to reduce our total holdings. I'm trying to get rid of this here, having some trouble with it. Sometimes I cannot get this to, to go away. Uh, let's go ahead and get, and, and a few others have mentioned that that one's a little bit buggy. So let's go ahead and take a look and see who our uh, powerful nobles are now, since we you know, did a few adjustments here. Uh, of course, the uh, you know, spy master is not a powerful noble. We've been keeping him there anyways. The new one we have is uh, the Earl of Somerset, and he has a 14 martial ability. So I guess we'll select him over our son. He's maimed, uh, so he would have even a higher martial ability if he wasn't maimed. Uh, let's go and select him in there, and let's go and see what we... Oh yes, he's increasing control here. We'll, we'll go ahead and keep him doing that. So that one would be even more profitable as we increase control here. Uh, see if there's anything else I need to be aware of here. Uh, of course, we have the Duchess. She's not... Oh, we, we haven't lost the revoke the title yet, and she's only negative 15. Uh, we lose that in August, uh, so it'll be actually in a few days, five days. So we'll take a look at that and see what we want to do there. Uh, as far as like other characters here or other uh, notifications, I'm not seeing anything that we need to be aware of. We just need to get this finished, which we just did. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and take that, and that will uh, allow us to declare war there. Uh, before we do, though, uh, there is one thing I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and invite knights uh, because we actually have a, a ton of cruddy knights right now. So let's go ahead and invite some knights in. And once we get them all, then we'll declare war. Uh, scheme discovered. Oh, man. Unfortunately, it was discovered, guys.
So we won't be killing him. Yeah, that's a real shame. All right, so let's see how we want to go about doing this then, uh, since we won't be uh, we won't be killing uh, the uh, the Prince of France. I just have to cancel this and and do something else, and, and I'm about giving up on the uh, trying to get control here. Now I know that we have our, our grand still uh, grandson still set to uh, do this marriage here, and that's fine. Uh, you know, this is of course uh, his son, so we're okay with that. We're, we're okay with them having uh, you know having an alliance here. We won't have the alliance once we become the next character. Uh, then we won't have an alliance with them, and we might not even have an alliance with them now, actually. Yeah, because it's our grandson. Yeah, we don't even have an alliance with them. And with it being our nephew, I, I think we still won't have an alliance with them. So it doesn't cause any problems here. And it doesn't hurt to, to get our, our dynasty somewhere, you know, intertwined with the French one for a little while. So I'm okay with that. Let's just kill somebody else. This, this clearly isn't going to work. We'll abandon that. And I suppose who will kill? Somebody that people have been requesting me to assassinate for a while now. Everybody wants me to take out the Archbishop because he's so cruddy. Uh, and it's really the only way to, to take him out. And so I guess we will. Uh, this, of course, would be... It uh, doesn't have a good chance of success, so that's a shame. This, of course, is very risky. If we are caught doing it, then we're going to drastically decrease our opinion with the Archbishop here. Uh, if he, he discovers that uh, we're the one involved with it, uh, which he very well might not. Uh, just might get discovered, and, and in that case, we won't be able to do it. But if it was discovered that we were trying to kill him, it would tank our opinion with him, result in us losing... All of these, good God, uh, all of these uh, taxes and levies, which is quite a bit. So let's hope we don't fail in this. Uh, with that in mind, let's go ahead and stop finding secrets. We're going to go ahead and support schemes here. Make this more likely to happen here. We're at 51% and 66%, and we haven't even invited anybody yet. So let's go ahead and take a look and see who we can invite here. Uh, see if we have any hooks that we can make use of. I'm surprised we can't like force our daughter to, to accept it with the hook but we cannot let's see uh i'm not seeing any anybody with hooks we do have this guy who we could technically arrest and then force to do it i don't know if we let me, let me take a look at this guy let's see if we could arrest him oh okay uh this all right, i see who this is this is the peasant leader we've already arrested him now we might be able to do it again uh, it would be an act of tyranny though and we would fail miserably so that's not an option all right, uh, so we'll just have to pay somebody, I suppose. We'll see how much these guys are willing to do it for. We'll, we'll look at him first, since he has the best stats here. He's going to want 75 gold. That's not too bad for what he's adding. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Let's go ahead and bribe him, and then we'll see where it's at. Try not to, to have to get too many agents if we don't have to. All right, so let's take a look at this now. We're at 71%, so maybe one more agent would be necessary. Yeah, we're going to get her in there. 70 gold. And that should be enough, guys. I should tick it up. And we have a knight that has arrived. Uh, let's see how good he is. He is fantastic. Wow. Yeah, let's go ahead and hire this guy. He is really good. Uh, we are starting to run low on money now. So we have a better knight now. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get any more knights because you're going to be broke here. I spent so much money on the schemes. Yeah, now we're in the negative. Uh, so we won't be able to declare war until we get out of the negative. So this has increased it to a good number here. We're going to get it done in 11 months and, uh, you know, perfect chance of secrecy for the most part that we got the maximum and 88% chance of success. That's good enough. Let's go ahead and keep that going for 11 months and uh, let's speed this up. And it looks like there's been, a, there's a little bit of conquering that's happening here. Okay, well, we still have the claim here and so we can still declare war. We're just going to wait till our money situation gets a little bit better. And then once it does, we... Uh, would be able to declare war. We'll, we'll get out of debt a little bit before we do, though. Also, we can take a look. Well, we just got that done. Excellent. Uh, we can now take a look at the Duchess. She would have lost that penalty that we had with her. Uh, so now her opinion, she really, really likes us. Despite, and a big part of that is because we pressed her claim. Uh, but she really, really likes us despite the fact that we've got her in her dungeon. Uh, she doesn't really seem to care that she's in the dungeon. I mean, I guess she's in house arrest, technically. Yeah, she, she likes us quite a bit. Now, some people want me to take another title from her. Uh, you know, they don't like that she has the three duchy titles. But, you know, guys, very rarely does anybody keep all their titles because they have their sons and then it gets partitioned out between all the different sons. Uh, the one problem with her, though, is she would, we'd have to give her, if we let her out, we'd have to give her a position on the council and she's rather cruddy at just about everything. Yeah, she's terrible at everything. 
So she would hate us if she's not on the council. Honestly, the best case scenario is keeping her in the prison. There's really no reason not to, I suppose. Uh, before, I was worried about the opinion because I wanted to do something here that we couldn't do because of the opinion. Uh, I wanted to change up our succession to the partition, uh, and we weren't able to do that because you have to have all your powerful vassals approving you. And so I thought that there was no way we were going to get her approval as long as she was in the dungeon. Uh, and it wouldn't let me do it because of her, because of her negative. But she loves us, despite the fact that she's in the dungeon, so there's really no reason to release her. Now, we could, again... Let's go and change this real quick. Uh, we could seize one of her, her three dunchies. I suppose that would be an option to, to weaken her. That would result in tyranny, though. We could probably phase the tyranny, though, because we have... You know, again, we have so, such a good opinion with everybody. So the tyranny wouldn't really that, be that big of a deal. Uh, let's go ahead and have him train commanders, since we might not be able to afford to get these new knights that we're hiring. We'll try to. We'll see if we have the money. Uh, we have 66, so if they want like 50 gold, uh, 25, 50 gold, then we should be able to get them. Uh, Catholicism's fervor is always just so low, man. It's 34%. I guess that's not too shabby, uh, considering. And one of our counselors died. Uh, which one was that? That was the one we just appointed, Somerset. Okay, uh, and we got another knight that has arrived, and he is also really good, so let's go ahead and recruit him to court if we can. 30 gold, not too bad. Excellent. So let's go ahead and take a look at who we need to appoint here now. Who's the new powerful vassal? Seems Prin Prince William is the new one. So who took over Somerset? A son? A uh, young son? Yeah, seven years old. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and take a look and see who we want to appoint here. Uh, Prince William should really be the chancellor because uh, he is quite good at that. Uh, so I suppose that's what we'll do. Uh, let's go ahead and assign him here, and then we'll just switch these two out. There we go. Swap. All right, so he's now the chancellor. Now, as for Duke Walter, like, he's not bad at Marshall, technically. Uh, he could be much worse. We could look at this, and, and we could assign our, our heir to position, but he's pretty cruddy at just about everything. I mean, he's average. So I think that this is fine, and he loves us, so there's really no reason to, to be too worried about it. Uh, so yeah, this looks good. Now we have a fantastic chancellor now, and he's uh, affecting the opinion. Let me see here. Um, plus 11. Uh, again, plus 11 opinion with everybody because of that. So that's fantastic. We've already increased the prowess of one of our knights with that event. All right, so almost ready to declare war, guys. Almost ready. Uh, just trying to get our... Well, you know what? I guess this is good. Yeah, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go and declare war. This should be a, a very quick conflict, of course. All right. Uh, so let's go and round up our troops. So we should probably move our rally point, shouldn't we? Let's go and move this over to here. And let's go ahead and raise up our army. And I, I think we're only at war. Let me just take a look here. For the one... Huh. Where's the... Where's the guy that we're fighting here. He's here. Okay, so it's really just the one county. So we could just go and put all of our men there. Um, we don't really want to take the attrition, so let's just do this like so. And then just put these guys here. Uh, that's still too much. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just split off a little bit of dudes here. Try and get it so that we're not like draining our supply like too much. Get them down to like 300. I mean, or 3,000, excuse me. Uh, that's that's good enough right there. All right, so let's go get that county taken. Uh, we'll be fighting these guys. Should be a... Ooh, wait a minute. Hold up. That is a hostile army there. All right, so a lot more troops here now. We might be able to, to win this before it's over. We'll see if we need more troops. And we might also want to see who we want appointed here. I don't know why they put him in charge. Oh, okay, I see. I see what's happening here. What we need to do is take our cells out of here. And if I knew we were going to be fighting a bigger, a big battle here, I would have done this a little bit differently. Uh, so my agents have scheduled a journey for Hamlin, which will take them through the dark woods. All that is missing is the band of thugs. So yeah, we've seen this, this uh, assassination type before. 88% chance. Let's go and make it happen. We'll see if we succeed, and then hopefully we get a better archbishop. Uh, it looks like we might have been discovered. 
because uh, we have the murder trait now. Hamlin has left this world sent off by Bandit's Blade. As the travel party stopped to camp for the evening, bandits poured out from among the trees, calling for blood and gold. The soldiers fought back, but so we've read all that before. Here's the, the new part. Unfortunately, one of the bandits was captured and revealed that I had paid them to ensure the unlanded's demise. So we gained 14 dread from that. Uh, we lost piety, and we actually gained a lot more dread from that. And we got the murder trait. Everybody will know what we did there, so <laughs> that's a bit negative. Uh, that's a negative 15 opinion with everybody. Uh, but we've gained so much dread now that I would be willing to bet that most people are absolutely terrified of us. Uh, so the mayor has been swayed. Let's take a look and see. Oh, yes, that's right. This is our spy master. That's the reason why we're increasing our opinion with them. Let's go and work on the new archbishop, and he's not great either. Yeah, he's not great. Well, let's, let's sway him. He's better than the other one, though. Uh, slightly better. It does result in about 0.20 more piety uh, per month than what we were getting there. All right, so we'll finish up this siege here. Did capture the enemy. The siege will be done in less than two months. We can take a look, see what our knights did. Looks like Earl Baldwin killed this guy here. And there's the last knight. So let's go ahead and see if he's any good. He's all right. He might, yeah, he's good enough. Uh, we were employing several knights that were like six or nine prowess, so, um, oh, what did I do? I clearly clicked on the wrong thing here. I meant to recruit to court. 45 gold there. All right, excellent. So we should have a good group of knights. Hopefully nobody below 12. That might be the lowest guy. I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's see how our knights are looking. Kind of scroll down. Uh, we still do have some pretty pretty knights, despite all the hiring. You see, we got a nine, a six. Yeah, we still have some, some really cruddy knights overall. Siege is won. The war is won. Let's go ahead and enforce our demands, and get that other county. Now we're just gonna go ahead and grant this, get rid of it immediately. We could go ahead and start working on another claim. Uh, you know, on our attempted conquest here. Just make sure we don't have any truces with this guy. And then we're going to set our new archbishop up to take his county, get a claim on it. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of uh, one of these two. We'll do this one here since the control is, is garbage. We'll let somebody else deal with that. Question is, who do we want to grant it to? We looked at Robert. We didn't want to do him. We have uh, William Day Stratford. Uh, Stratford. Who is this guy? He seems like a good fit. Yeah, I don't see any reason not to grant him. He doesn't have any family or anything like that. And I guess what we'll want to do is sort this by opinion. He doesn't actually like us that much. So we'll do it to somebody who likes us. We have a knight here. Legendary Blade Master. Uh, probably has served us well. I don't, I don't know if he has. Actually, I don't know who this guy is. I don't recognize him uh, from any of the events. Uh, but he does have very good prowess. Maybe this is one of the guys we just hired. Uh, well, that's who we'll grant it to. He loves us. And, and that would explain why his opinion is so high, too since he would be uh, quite happy with us, uh, the Grateful plus 50. So yeah, I think he's great. He is lowborn though, so he would create another dynasty. I suppose if we wanted to give it to like a noble, we have this guy here. I don't know who he is, let's just take a look. He's at least a noble. He is an honest man, a brave man, somebody we probably like. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's give it to him, why not? I think he's probably a better fit. All right, so grant him this title. And there we go, we are back below our limit. Okay, uh, so this is gonna take, you know, a little while to get done here, and we might have a word to distract us in the meantime. So this is gonna be over here. He's at war with these two here. We're not, we're not gonna help out with that. Just have to decline. I'm not gonna sell way over there. I don't really see the point on, you know, joining the war if we're not gonna help. I know we get a little bit of an opinion, uh, opinion penalty, but yeah, I just don't think it's worth it. Commander was promoted, has been shown off his promise to recruit. He may or may not be of noble stock as you, my liege, but on my name I swear that uh, Guthfrith is something you would, is someone you would want on your side. Let's take a look at him. He has an okay marshal. He has uh, okay prowess. He's a guest here. So we could go ahead and hire him, recruit him, and we recruit him for free, so he'd become a knight. And uh, yeah, that's a, a great. We got plus 15. That's one of the, the advantages of doing that particular marshal. Uh, mission. So through downcast lashes, uh, as my eyes meet Duchess, uh, I feel like we read this. Yeah, we read this one before. So this is just uh, 
whether we want to give her a good tumble or not. Uh, but why is William here? Is this his wife? This is his wife. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, we can give his wife a good tumble. Uh, but I don't think that's something we would do. Uh, and we don't really need to go blabbering about it either, I suppose. Uh, let's take a look and see what this one is. No, my heart remains pure and should be disappointed. Yeah, I mean, we're in that old age. I think everybody, uh, especially if you're even just slightly religious, uh, would be starting to worry about the your soul and what's going to be happening uh, when you die. Uh, what did we get here? Oh, we uh, converted the culture. Excellent. So now uh, this province here is English, and we're not getting that little bit of a penalty that we were getting before. Uh, one of our knights was significantly improved. We've got a plus two to his prowess. Uh, since we have some money, let's go ahead and spend it. Uh, we'll build another province here. So what we want to get. Uh, we'll look at what we currently have. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and do, I don't really feel like more money. Uh, but you know what? We also need holdings to, or excuse me, levies. Uh, so maybe we'll do the military camps. Yeah, let's go and do the military camps. I'm a little bit worried about what our levies are going to look like once King William dies. Uh, it could end up being uh, pretty bad overall. Uh, we're not really losing any titles, but remember King William has those special troops that we're going to lose. I think we're going to lose. Uh, I'm just assuming uh, that we will. Uh, the commander improved. And so you lose those, uh, you lose, you know, the fact that, you know, we have the higher marshal and that's increasing levy size by plus 20, 28%. Uh, our next character is going to be getting a lot less. Uh, you know, I don't know what plus eight gifts, but it's, it's going to be significantly less. Uh, let's go and deal with the prisoners we have in here. Uh, so we have this guy, uh, we could ransom him off for 10 gold. He would not accept it. So let's go ahead and do the gain weak hook instead. Then let's take a look at this gal. This looks like we're just going to get a weak hook here as well. Sure, why not? And how about this one? Same thing here. Uh, we can do it through there, of course. You can just do it through there. I was looking here to see if there's you know, anything else to go with, like the, the man conversion. And we got the hooks. Excellent. All right. So cleared out our prison, with the exception of the duchess. And so now we're just waiting for the claim here, and we could also be working on assassinating somebody, I suppose. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. Again, I, I do feel like I've just kind of given up on on uh, winning here. What we could do is go ahead and take out the queen, though, before they could have any kids. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And maybe we can slowly work uh, to, to get our uh, soon-to-be daughter-in-law onto the, to the throne. I doubt it will work, but we could try. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and murder her first because she refused to marry us or marry into our dynasty. Two marriages I, I attempted to get with them. Um, one, uh, of course, we, we sent it off and unfortunately, I guess the king just, uh, you know, got there first. Uh, everybody was trying to, to arrange that marriage, but we killed her husband all to get that marriage and it didn't work. Uh, so it looks like we have a new, uh, new heresy that has popped up here. It's in Iceland. Okay. And Duchess Maria has converted. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's take a look at this here and see if we can't find any agents that we might be able to, to make use of. I thought we had some secrets here in this area, but we might have used them all uh, on that first murder that we did there. That's the way it seems. Yeah, it seems like we used them all. It's going to be 18 months here, 41% chance of secrecy, so we should probably get one person involved with this at least. We could do this person. Let's take a look and see how much they want. 75 is not too bad. So we'll do them. We'll see where it's at. Another call to arms here. It's one of the unfortunate parts with having all these these allies here that we keep getting these, these call to arms. Uh, our friend died, the mayor. And agent, of course, agreed to join our scheme. We'll take a look at how uh, the percentages look now. Uh, so this is an uprising. I really kind of feel like, well, I guess they're, the King of Bohemia is technically a part of this. But I feel like when you just have these rebellions here, which is a peasant leader, I feel like they shouldn't be able to call you to arms for those. And I mean both the player and the AI. I really feel like you shouldn't be able to call your allies into like the little tiny rebellions that happen. Um, yeah, he doesn't like us as much as he once did. Us being a murder has hurt, and we did lose a lot of those points there. Yeah, I'm going to decline this, guys. He could take the opinion hit. 
I don't care. All right, so let's go and climb that. And we did finish up with the pastures. Uh, we don't quite have enough money to build anything else, so we'll wait. And more, more people are accepting that heresy. Looks like somebody else already might be trying to to gain this territory. That's the way it seems. Yeah, he might take that from us, in which case we'd have to attack him. And he has quite a few titles, uh, so it would end up being a lot more challenging of a fight when he takes control of that. We don't really want him on our doorstep anyway, though. Uh, we have swayed him by a bit, and that was important because I think we'd fall down into the negative, so we're losing uh, both the soldiers we get from him and the money. So that was having a big impact. Uh, we did get another Marshall perk. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we want to get next. So we're done with both of these trees, so let's go down the, the strategist next. We'll reduce the cost of a CB by 50%, so that'll be helpful. And we can also probably build here, so let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, though we can't actually build anything, uh, except for the, the duchy building, which we need 300 gold for that. And also we don't really have a whole lot of good choices yet, because we haven't got the, the text. Uh, so I suppose we'll just keep building in other territories. Uh, let's see where we want to build. We could build here. Uh, yeah, we haven't built there yet. That's where we build. So we're going to start with this one and see what we want to get here. Uh, probably something that gets us money. Yeah, I think we're going to do the money. Uh, farms and fields would be the most profitable one. You can also do trade port, though. Trade ports do some pretty good money overall. Yeah, I guess we'll do the trade port. It also increases the development. Uh, so that's another advantage of it. I'm currently at 11 development here. Uh, our capital is still at 15. Yeah, it's still sitting at 15. Uh, and it should be increasing all the areas around it. Uh, so like this one here. Uh, yeah, getting a 0.8 growth right now. Most of that is from the neighboring provinces. All right, excellent. So let's go put it up to speed 5. Uh, just so we hurry up and get this done here. And also it looks like we... Let's see, one of my agents has acquired a deadly spider. Uh, so we don't have a very good chance of success here uh, because we never did uh, get any other agents for that. Probably should, and then say this is not the way to do it. We'll lose some progress, we'll have three more months. Uh, yeah, that's not good enough odds, guys. So let's just redo it. I was thinking we were higher before, and we already have our spymaster you know, working on that, that job. So we might just have to pay somebody. 150 there. We're gonna try and go the cheaper route, 140 there. So far, none of these are increasing it by much. Yeah, these are kind of expensive. Let's take a look here, another 150 there. So I guess we'll just go with the one that's gonna do the most uh, success chance, which I wanna say it's already sorted by. So let's go ahead and just bribe her. It's gonna be 150, that's unfortunate, uh, but it's the only way we're gonna get this up high enough to be able to complete it. So yeah, we're at 63% chance. That's good enough, I suppose. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then we also have finished this. Excellent. So that's going to be even more money. It's going to put us in the negative again. That's okay. See it done. And of course, this is now a new ruler here. Yeah. And that's what it looks like. Yeah. So he now controls that province. So taking this province is going to be a little bit more of a pain in the butt than, than it would have been if we would have gotten that control of that before he had won that conflict. Uh, and the existence of our plot was discovered. Damn it. Ah, yeah, that's unfortunate. We're so close. We spent so much money on it, too. Yeah, that's really unfortunate, guys. Yeah, all right. Well, nothing to be done about it now. Uh, you're not gonna, not gonna complete that, guys. All right, so we'll just have to, to cancel this, abandon the scheme. Uh, now I regret not going with the, the whatever it was, a 40-something percent chance. Uh, that was better than a 5% chance. Uh, it happens, though. It happens, guys. I don't know if there's anybody else we could we could murder. Probably not. Yeah, there's nobody else in France that we'd want to do. Uh, what about in Brittany? I don't, I don't think there was anything that we had here to do. Yeah, there's nothing really to do here either. Uh, we were talking about killing him, but the situation that we had before I don't think is is no longer applicable. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, like we don't have any marriages here or anything like that. Uh, we failed in swaying him this time. That's unfortunate. Uh, and something else happened. Just uh, We can see that these guys here, uh, all the Scandinavians are really starting to conquer territory now. And we see them in Ireland. We see them here in Wales. Uh, so, and, and, of course, they've been in Scotland. 
Uh, so we're seeing like more and more Scandinavians come into the British Isles. All right, we are out of the negative, so we could go and declare war. Again, this is gonna be a little bit trickier uh, because eh, it looks like there's a rebellion here too, not against us. It's a rebellion against our son. Yeah, <laughs> he's having some problems here. Looks like he's winning it though, so he's increasing his authority in his lands. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to declare war on this guy here. That's not exactly how I wanted to go down, uh, do this. It's not desirable, it's gonna take longer. And we might have to sell over there, which Again, it's not really desirable because uh, taking this one probably wouldn't be enough. And we have to wait for him to fight us a couple times. It just feels like there's far easier counties to tank than that one. Uh, so let's just do a different one. Uh, I did want it that one, but it doesn't really matter as long as we're as long as we're conquering something. Uh, I suppose we can go after this one. Let me just take a look and see that he only has one title. Yeah, we'll go after that one. Let's go ahead and get the the claim here, and it does look like we can convert face somewhere. Where? Where is not uh, not our faith? Oh, right here. Uh, the heresy has spread. Uh, now those are not our direct lands, so I'm not going to do that. And besides, it would take absolutely forever for him to do that. Uh, converting does take a long time. If your fervor is really high and the religion that you're converting is low, uh, such as what often happens between Muslims and Christians uh, over here in Iberia, where the Catholic fervor is so low and the the Muslim one so high, then typically they can convert kind of fast, fairly fast. Uh, if you have like a, a decent, you know, religious uh, advisor, then you can get it a lot quicker with that higher fervor. And, and they'll convert like uh, counties they take uh, very quickly, comparatively, when you look at how long it takes to do it as a Christian. Oh no, our wife died. My dear Matilda, I might not have loved you, yet I feel your passing more acutely than I ever thought possible. You were always there, my constant companion. Did I take you for granted? There are so many things left unsaid. So that is going to be critical stress levels. And so that will result in us having our first mental breakdown. Uh, so this will be interesting. Let's see what happens with it. We're overwhelmed with stress now. A mental break because of our grief. Uh, life has never been easy, but it feels like the loss of my wife, Matilda, has pushed me over the edge. She was my partner in life, helping me get through so many trials and tribulations. Though we may have had disagreements, facing life without her just feels daunting. How will I ever manage without her? So we have three choices. We can take up the drink and become a drunkard. Uh, what is the point in eating when the hole is in my heart? And so we could do that. And then we can do, I must press on, it is what she would have wanted. And then we'll get the frozen grief here. I really feel like, I feel like William is the type of guy who just like, yeah, I mean, he might take a drink, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I kind of feel like he would just like press on and just act like nothing's bothering him. He'd keep it to himself. Yeah, I feel like we should do that. And then we get this frozen grief here, which does have several penalties to it, guys. Personal scheme power is reduced. Uh, but yeah, I kind of feel like that would be uh, obviously not the best one as far as like what we're getting here. I think that's probably the worst one. Yeah, that brings down the, the prowess, but it's not even we're near as bad as the two diplomacy and the health penalty. So it's probably the worst option as far as like strategically and, and you know keeping our character alive. But I, I don't know, man. I just kind of feel like that's what he would do. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do, do this one. It's going to hit us with that frozen grief. Uh, we are no longer in upper stress, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and take that one decision to go on a hunt. And, you know, our character loves hunting. And we haven't really let him hunt very often. Uh, so I think that's what he needs. His wife is dead. He just needs to get out there and do a little bit of hunting. Escape from everything. Our grandson was captured there. I just realized that when I clicked through that. Uh, hunt rumors. The noise from the others has faded away by the time Steward, Duke, Frederick, and I stalk up on the fox. We are almost within striking distance when Frederick whispers to me, now that we are finally by ourselves, there's something I have to let you know about Duchess Maud. And this is the Duchess of East Anglia, his wife. Okay, so he's telling secrets about his wife. Interesting. Let's see what he has to say. We can say no time for chit-chat and getting that fox. We'll gain prestige. Or say, wait, tell me more. We'll lose some prestige, but we'll learn her secret. I feel like this is, yeah, we're just hunting, man. We don't want to know what your wife does behind closed doors. That's your personal business, <laughs> whatever y'all are up to. 
Uh, what'd she make you do? <laughs> he's like, he's just trying to confide in us. He's like, you wouldn't believe what this woman makes me do in the bedroom. Please, I need somebody to talk to. Uh, returning from the wild, the hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the farmlands behind as the servants repair the fox and other game for the journey back. In spite of our difficulties along the way, the hunt went very well. So again, some prestige from that. Fantastic. Uh, we could get married. We probably should get married. I know we're really old. Uh, but yeah, why would we not get married and get those benefits? Uh, I mean, I guess we got the frozen grief. Maybe we wouldn't get married because that's like how you know hurt we are over it. I don't know. Maybe we would. Uh, let's... I guess we can. It might result in more kids, and that could be interesting. If we have more sons, uh, then we would have, uh, you know, problems down here with the... You know, because we have the succession secured. Like, right... As of right now, all of the titles we have are going to our primary heir. So we secured the succession, so if we added another son here, uh, then that would complicate matters. So I suppose we could do that. Uh, so we could, like, just arrange a marriage for somebody in our court. We can just find a spouse here and specifically go after somebody who has, like, very high stewardship and that isn't lowborn. We could get the pretty uh, trait here, and maybe one of our kids will have that. Yeah, I say let's do her, this Saxon woman, just because she has that, that pretty trait. Maybe that'll make us feel better. <laughs> so let's go ahead and arrange this marriage. We're actually going to lose prestige because it's not a very prestigious marriage. Uh, but yeah, let's go and send that off. She's 35, so she could still have kids. I think she was 35. No, she's 26. So we could definitely see uh, kids pop out of out of this marriage. Very much so. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll have another kid. Maybe we'll get her pregnant before we die. Uh, again, that would be interesting. Uh, and then we learned of Earl Edric's uh, secret lover. Okay. So we could, of course, blackmail on, on that. One person uh, suggested maybe not uh, blackmailing immediately. Since once you use it, once you blackmail them for the hook, the hook then, you know, if it's a minor hook anyways, you only have about 10 years before it expires. Uh, while in the secret, just having the secret and you don't do the blackmail, uh, then you always get to keep it. Uh, now in this case, that's not what we're going to do because we are going to use the secret immediately. Uh, but yeah, that's something we could we could do in, in some cases uh, where if we, if we would know we're not going to use it. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and blackmail this guy. Oops, damn it. I have to do that again, my friends. All right, so let's go into blackmail him. There we go. Has a 60% chance he'll accept. Because he's brave. So he might not be willing to keep that. We'll just see what happens. He refused it. Okay, uh, so we can go in and expose it. I have to admit it, but I cannot reveal the secret. Ah, we'll expose it. Why not? He'll probably be irritated at us. I don't care. Yeah, so he's not going to be happy. We got, what, like a 30, negative 30 here? Yep. That's not unfortunate. What I was going to use the hook for was to just change up his feudal contract. I don't think there's anybody we can do that we want to do right now. Just our sons, as of right now. We did uh, finish up the small harbor, uh, and another hook has expired. Uh, let's see what we want to do here. I guess we'll go ahead and upgrade the, the high tents. Let's get us more levies. I'm trying to build those levies numbers up in these provinces we have, because, again, it's going to decline... We're sitting at 12,000 right now is, is the maximum, but that's going to decline a lot once we die. I uh, don't think we have anybody in our prison, right? Nope, just her. Again, we could ransom her whenever we wanted. Uh, I just kind of feel like it's easier keeping her in the prison. <laughs> just keep her in there forever. Uh, and we gained a hook on our archbishop. Uh, because, again, we uh, got something from having our, our wife do that that job. Uh, so, did she move right into the managed domain? She did. Excellent. So, that has allowed us to get back up to the nine domain holdings. And our grandson was released from prison. Excellent. That's good. Very good. Um, and we no longer have an alliance. Oh, whoa, what happened here? Oh, did he lose all his stuff? He lost his arm? <laughs> what? Oh, lord. Look what happened, guys. So our son lost all of his titles. Everything he had. This incompetent... <laughs> wow. So he lost all of, all of his uh, titles. He lost his arm. And he's maimed now. Yeah, I'm very, very disappointed with him. Now, it looks like our grandson... Okay, so this is what happened. Our grandson got put onto the throne here. Uh, of the, the, I say throne, but you guys know what I mean. He is now the Duke of Mercia. 
I don't know, man. Like, William is unforgiving. Like, he is... You know, I, I just... I just don't see him now after this incompetent man just did this. <laughs> yeah, I just I just don't see like he completely lost all of his titles. We gave him we made him a duke, we gave him what, three counties directly under his control, and he lost it all. He, he lost his arm, so he's he's crippled. I kind of feel like we would disinherit this guy just after everything did. Now, it's not really an option because we don't have enough prestige. Our prestige is too low right now, so we wouldn't be able to disinherit him anyways. Uh, but, you know, we could get that prestige up to do so. But, yeah, I don't know, man. He's just... I don't know. I, I just don't know that William would let him inherit. Uh, now, it would be really unfortunate that we'd lose that duchy and all those lands. They would, you know, in that case, we'd become William Rufus, and then that would be his nephew that would always hold those lands. So that would be uh, very unfortunate for us overall, but I just kind of feel like he just wouldn't give it to him. I'm very disappointed with him. I'm incredibly disappointed with him. I can't believe... He, la he allowed that to happen. Yeah, just super disappointed. Let's go and take a look at all of our daughter-in-laws. Or, excuse me, we, it'd be our son-in-laws who I'm really trying to look at. Let's see if these guys have any kids yet and who it's going to. So right now, they have not had a child, which is unfortunate. Come on, Cecilia. She is 34 years old. They might not have a kid out of this. So that that would not uh, go in our, our dynasty then, Tuscany. It was a risk we took when we married her off so old. Because uh, she was, you know, I, I don't remember how old she was. but Maybe mid-late 20s, something like that. Yeah, by the time they finally got married. So that has not gone well. They might not have a kid. Let's take a look at these guys. These actually, they, they do have a child. Uh, he is ill, unfortunately, so he might not live. Uh, but it seems like he is not uh, the heir, because remember, they do have the elective uh, succession here. So let's get rid of this brother here. We'll go ahead and kill him off, or try to anyway. Again, we haven't had a whole lot of success with our attempts to to assassinate. We don't really have any money here. Let's see where he's at, uh, where his lands are at, I should say. I don't know if we have any, uh... okay, so it's here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the secrets here, guys. Try to get some secrets, because it's just not gonna be enough. Uh, just having him on the support schemes isn't gonna be good enough. So we'll try and get some secrets, at least one. We'll let that run a little bit. And a faction was created against us. Okay, we haven't had any problems with factions for a long time. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, who is this? Oh, because he's a powerful noble. And, uh, yeah, Edric the Wild. We also uh, just attempted to blackmail him, so he's not happy about that either. Uh, so, uh, now that he's a powerful noble, uh, we might want to give him a position in the council. He's a very good martial skill. Uh, l let's see who he's replacing here as the powerful noble. Duke Walter is no longer, which is, is surprising because he has three earldoms. While the uh, the other count has one, Let, let's give it a month, because sometimes these things change. Another faction created against us, the peasant rabble. Uh, also, we lost one of our counselors, Duke. Or excuse me, he wasn't a duke. So this is our spy master. Oh, I didn't know he was a eunuch. Uh, but yeah, he's a eunuch and he's the mayor and he's dead. So we need to replace this guy, anyways. Uh, we have two current uh, powerful nobles that are not. In our council, uh, I suppose we'll put Earl Odo here, but let me just double check if there's anybody. Yeah, he looks like he'll probably be the best. So we'll do Earl Odo. Uh, could, of course, put another mayor in place to get the, the higher intrigue. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this. We are starting to have some faction troubles, uh, so let's try and keep everybody's opinion as high as possible. Again, we're going to give it that month there, and then we'll take a look and see if anything's adjusted here. Nope, still Earl Edric, so we'll go ahead and replace Duke Walter. So if this guy doesn't hate us, it's probably not going to be enough to get him out of the faction. Uh, but yeah, poor King William, man. Old man here, at the end of his life. And so far, just having a lot of sadness. Our sister just died, there's more stress for us. That's what happens when you die. When you get older, you just watch everybody around you die. It's kind of sad. Uh, so, we have some money here, and we got a Marshall perk. Excellent. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, so... Siege weapon effectiveness, that would be really helpful. Uh, I could be able to get those sieges done quicker. Movement speed, plus the screen is up. Uh, we're just making our troops better. Let's do this one, so that we can we can uh, get the sieges done quicker. Since that is largely what we have to do to win most of our conflicts. So this is almost done here. We did sway him, finally. So now we got him up to, to plus 40. I don't know if we have anybody on the council who doesn't like us. I mean, this guy kind of doesn't. We'll just keep it on him for right now. 
try and sway him one more time. Maybe we should take a look and see what our chance, yeah, our chance is actually pretty low. So instead we'll sway this guy here. 57% chance, it's not too shabby. And how are we doing on this, this uh, fine secrets? We're almost there. And did we get one? No, we did not. All right, so that's a shame. All right, we'll, we'll do it one more time and see if we can get some secrets. Uh, your culture has joined the high medieval era. New innovations are available. Awesome. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and change up what we're working on. Uh, while, of course, we do want to get the arched saddle so we can have the armored horseman. There's some other stuff that I really want to get here. Uh, and probably heraldry is the one I want to get first so that we can go to the high partition law. That would be helpful. So we're going to work on the heraldry. And we'll get that in 41 years. It's going to be quite some time. We need to get our development up in the English provinces if we want that to go faster. So big war happening here, guys, between, I guess, vassals. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. We can take a look and see how this is going. Okay, so this is a war between the new Duke Adam, our grandson. And it seems like he has the, the more troops, um, probably largely due to all of his alliances. Yeah, including his, his uncle. And he's fighting against uh, the Duke Walter here, uh, who was a pretty powerful Duke. And now I think he's going to end up losing this conflict. And did the war end? There are a lot of prisoners taken here. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we lost a counselor from that. We probably did. Yeah, uh, we would have lost... The, the Earl Odo, since he was in prison temporarily. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, yes. That's right. We now have the claim. Uh, so we can declare war and go after this province here. Let's go ahead and do that. Make this happen, man. And we're going to push our own claim. All right. So, again, this should be a fairly easy conflict. And I will just split this off myself. And uh, put all of these guys here. All right, so we'll get all them. We'll see how the numbers look. We want to get up to about 2,500 again. Uh, so let's just throw those guys in there. So it's going to bring them over to here. And then, you know, this time we're actually going to go ahead and get rid of this army. Just disband them. I don't even think it's going to be necessary to have all those. 2,500 would be plenty enough. Uh, we'll go ahead and place... Maybe we'll place uh, him in charge. Yeah, he's a military engineer, and he's actually the best one. And yeah, he's really good. Yeah, he's pretty decent. So place him in charge of this army. And we'll get it done in, in two months. A siege. Alright, so that'll be helpful. Uh, yeah, having that trait's going to be really helpful. Uh, we, we've been looking for having a good good general with the trait. We did get our wife pregnant. Okay, I mean, she's 27 years old, so what would you expect? I guess we aren't so uh, frozen in grief anymore, are we? Uh, so she's pregnant, so we'll have to see what happens. If we have a son, that's going to change up uh, the inheritance situation quite a bit, guys. Uh, so let's take a look and see what we want to do here. Uh, so we have Catholicism and Fervor being released further. We've won our siege. Uh, that was not enough. Okay, he has all this land here. Okay, I didn't realize that. This is all... Uh, I don't know if they are people he's allied with or if this is all his. Looks like it's all his. Okay, I, I was not aware of that. I wouldn't have disbanded all those troops, uh, but it's fine. Uh, even 2,600 men is enough to get this job done. Uh, we can take a look and see if we can get any money from prisoners. We did capture a few. We get a, a hook there. Yeah, we'll take this. This is 50 gold. Uh, yeah. That'll be helpful. And then we're going to go ahead and build, build something. See what we want to get. So we're already building here. Uh, we can't upgrade some stuff. Uh, so that's excellent. Let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, we could change up this to get more levies and have the higher levy reinforcement rate. Or we could do this one, and that's the one we're going to do. Let's go and upgrade that. All right, excellent. So this siege here will be done in about a month. That might be enough. I don't know. We'll have to see if that's enough to get a win. Yeah, I didn't realize we were fighting so many here. Uh, and that is the end of the war right there. All right, excellent. Since we did capture him, valuable hostage here. Got some money. Our sister died. That's going to increase our stress again. Everybody's dying, man. And we learned of this guy's secret. So that is what we were waiting on. Uh, we'll go take a look at that in a second. Let's go ahead and do the enforced demands here first. 
All right, so we gain control of that county, which will again just immediately grant out to somebody and they can deal with the, the low control. Uh, let's do it by opinion again. Could give it to Prince Richard, I suppose, since he doesn't have any titles. Uh, so this would make him like, yeah, I guess he's kind of like the the Prince of Wales now, <laughs> since he's a, he's a prince and he has a Welsh county. So that's what we'll give him. So we'll give him this county. And of course we got the alliance with him. All right, so now that we've completed that, let's take a look if we want to assassinate him. It might not increase it by much, but I think we're gonna go ahead and try and do this, guys. He's 51 years old, he's an older dude. Let's make sure he's the one set to inherit, he is. So let's try and uh, murder him. Uh, not very good right here, not at all. You know what, let's find one more secret, guys. Let's see if we can find one more. The Great Duelist. So my vassal, Mayor Marie, has arrived at court with a bandaged arm and fear in her eyes. She tells people that my son, Prince William, has been challenging people to duels all over Guildford. Please forgive me, my lord, but this has to stop. Prince William turned up at my doorstep and challenged me. I had no choice but to accept. This is not the first time either. I am, I am but the last in a long line of victims. So William Rufus apparently is traveling around and challenging women to duels. <laughs> You notice he, he challenged a woman uh, to the duel. A woman who I don't think was ever very good at prowess either. Yeah, and just beat her down. <laughs> wow. Oh man, both of our sons are just being complete letdowns. Like really? All right, so we can say these duels will cease at once and she'll gain opinion increase with us. Prince William will dislike us and we'll have to spend 75 prestige. We can say a dangerous pastime and uh, we'll give her money and he'll become an aspiring blade master. Uh, and then he'll continue doing the duels. Or we say, your father will show you how it's done. And then we'll get a prowess challenge against Prince William. I, I feel like that's what we would do. This old man, we're gonna challenge him. You wanna beat on women, son? That's what you wanna do? So I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, he won't continue doing the, uh, the duels. But yeah, this is what we're gonna do. And I lost the duel, probably because we're an old man. And so we are wounded because of that. He actually beat us in the duel. And this is funny because, you know, this is, that is exactly what happened in, in real life too. It wasn't William though. And, and not exactly historically, of course, because it was his, his son, Prince Robert, who he dueled. And it wasn't just a, a regular duel, it was in a battle. But, but similar in the sense that, you know, he battles one of his sons and he lost. Uh, he, he duels his son and loses. You know, he lost to Robert in that battle and he almost killed him. Uh, and, you know, he got wounded. And this is what happened, it's just a different a different son. It's William Rufus this time, who we've battled and lost to. So that's great, that's awesome. Uh, it does result in us getting wounded, and now we are on death's door. Uh, you can see here, uh, you are at death's doorstep. Uh, so we're likely gonna die very, very soon. Thus, I don't know that we'd get involved in any conflicts right now. Uh, we are not doing well. Yeah, we're injured, and look at what he did to our face. <sighs> Okay, so I want to live long enough to see who this kid is. That would be nice to know. Our spouse did something for us. So I've been trying to get us to the death of our character here. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the the episode's getting kind of long, guys. I, I think we're going to have to end it now with us about to die. You know, I was really trying to get to it. We'll go just a little bit longer, guys. There we go. Here we go. So now, finally, we are playing as a new character. We played as him for 26 years. He was 66 years old, you know, lived several years past his historical life, uh, died from his wounds. Let's see if there's anything up here. We're illustrious, dutiful when it comes to our devotion, never very high when it comes to that. We fought in 14 wars, eight offensive and six defensive. We actually had more than one finisher perk. I don't know why I said we only had one. I think we did, didn't we? Maybe I forgot to do the last one. Uh, yeah, because I, I would think it would have said all the finisher perks. Yeah, I might have forgot to get the last one. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me if I wasn't paying attention and I just went to the next tree. Um, but anyways, King William of England has abandoned his mortal coil at 66 years of age. He died from his wounds. Known to be an exceptional strategist, he spent many of his days examining fields and, training and drilling his troops. King Richard ascends the throne. Having mastered many skills, he's sure to be admired by his subjects. All right, so the one-armed... Uh, Richard is now the character we're playing as. I, I thought about disinheriting him. You know what, we're just gonna play as the one-armed Richard. Uh, he does have some really interesting character traits. 
uh, and his son now has all those those titles. And that's that's going to be interesting. We'll have to see what happens here. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and continue playing as King Richard. We're going to pause this. Uh, we also are not endorsed by our, our Archbishop anymore. He hates us because we're a sinner. Oh wow, yeah, we are a sinner, aren't we? So we are a sinner. Uh, as far as our prestige goes, we are just established. So we're not getting any knights from this or any secular opinion. So as with all successions in this game, or, or typical in successions, we're likely going to have some serious uh, faction issues. Uh, right now, you know, we don't see it here, but you can expect that we're going to see a bunch of factions rise up. And it's going to take us a little while to consolidate our power again. Uh, we now have 10 holdings because we just got the one the count that uh, county that we gave them so we have to, to give out some of these uh we could take a look what her spouse is doing and change her up so that she would have it seems like that would be the best thing to do is have her manage our domain and maybe that might change it some we got to let it tick a second uh, so that allows us to to run eight so we'd have to give out two titles to be below that okay so we'll just have to take a look at our, our situation across the board uh, when we come back in the next episode. Of course, our character is, well, he's a reaver, so that's interesting. Uh, but he's ill, he's an adulterer, he's maimed. Uh, overall, his health is fairly poor, uh, but he has this iron constitution, which is countering many of the penalties that we have here. Uh, so he's not really set to die anytime soon because of that. Uh, as far as our kids go, we have two daughters, one of which is about to become of age. I want to take a look at her and see what we want her to do education-wise, a lot of good stuff, maybe get her a, a tutor. Uh, we have the princess here. We want to do that with her as well. They're both quick, uh, so that's awesome. Uh, but, of course, uh, our son here, uh, he did not get the quick. Uh, yeah, because both of the daughters, of course, they'd get the quick trait. Uh, and then we have Prince Richard here, and he also did not get the quick trait. Seems like only our daughters can seem to get it. Uh, but he is his own uh, his own, own duke here, owns all this lands, uh, and despite the fact he's only six years old. So he's of course in a in a war as well. He's currently got going here. Uh, it does look like he'll he might lose that war. Yeah, he doesn't have his very many levies right now. Yeah, so he very well might lose this conflict. I'm surprised with having the two counties. He doesn't have a little bit more a little bit more uh, levies than he does. A uh, big part of that, I think, he's drained from these these conflicts. Uh, but yeah, that's that's where our son is at. He already has land, uh, so we won't be able to... Well, we can find the spouse for him now because he's our, our son and not our grandson. So we'll have to find him a spouse. Uh, same thing with our other son, which he has land too. Okay, he currently owns this county here. Interesting. So both of our sons have counties uh, as of right now. If we were to take a look at what they'll be inheriting... We're going to lose quite a few titles on succession. Yeah, a bunch of counties, because we don't have a duchy for him to get. So what we need to do is to cre uh, create a duchy somewhere. Yeah, we'll have to create a duchy somewhere. So he'll get that land. Uh, maybe here with this one. Uh, this could be a duchy created, and then we could grant it straight to him as well. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what we could do. Yeah, we could create this one. We'd have to usurp it. We need 250 gold to do that. So that might be our goal here, is to usurp that title. And then we'll, because uh, we have control of both of them here. And so we rightfully should have that, that uh, count, that that duchy title. Uh, and then we could grant it to our son. And then that should result in him, uh, not Adam, of course, uh, Prince Richard. And that should result in us not having him take all of our all of our uh, lands from us, all of our counties. Because, yeah, right now he's set to get seven counties. Quite a few. Uh, so the majority of the ones we have, actually. Yeah, he gets so many counties. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. So you want to have that duchy title. So that he'll take that instead. So we'll do that. We'll have to pick a lifestyle as well. And kind of get this dealt with. And we're going to have a lot of issues overall that we're going to have to deal with, guys. All right, guys, so let's go and end the episode here. And the next video we'll pick up is King Richard and... We got a lot of stuff to do. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.